Hello everyone and welcome to How To Magic The Gathering. Do you want to get into Magic The Gathering but you're not sure how? Do you want to learn how the mechanics work and to use them correctly? Do not worry, in this series of videos I will go over all the relevant mechanics, keywords and tricks that you'll need to know when playing Magic The Gathering either online or in person with your friends. Remember to subscribe, like and comment down below what you want more information on later in this series and I will try to cover all the subjects. We will start this series off with going through the different card types that exist in Magic the Gathering. Among the major card types are creature cards, instant cards, sorcery cards, enchantment cards, enchantment aura cards, planeswalkers and land cards. There are more of these but these are the most common ones that you will see while playing Magic. Creature cards are spells that can be played to summon creatures for you to attack and block with. This is your most common way to deal damage to the other player. Instant cards are spells that can be used at any point, even on your enemy's turn, to deal damage, draw cards and other effects depending on the cards that you're playing. Sorcery cards are very similar to instant cards except that these can only be cast on your main phase. The effects of these cards are usually the same as the instant card, but stronger as it cannot be used whenever you wish. Enchantment cards are spells that will stay on the board permanently unless removed in any way. These usually give you a permanent buff to your creatures or trigger an effect when certain things happen. Enchantment aura cards are spells that you can play on a creature to either buff or debuff it. These are like the normal enchantment cards as they stir it permanently until removed or the creature dies. Planeswalkers are a special part of magic. These cards are other characters that act as a second player for the opponent to attack. They also have abilities that can be used once per turn for great effect. Lastly we have land cards. Note that all other cards except land cards are considered spells as this is a very important keyword for a lot of cards in Magic the Gathering. Land cards are not considered spells and these guys are what give you mana. Every land gives you a type of mana depending on what color the land is. Mana is what is used for you to cast the other cards mentioned in this section. I hope this gave you a better idea of what different cards in Magic the Gathering does and I hope it helps you understand the game a little bit better. If you like this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content about Magic the Gathering. I have been Judelad and I will see you next time.